we'll briefly cover the file edit view tools help menu at the top file allows us to select a new patient, which would pull up this original menu. We'll cancel refresh patient information can be helpful if you have altered something or want to refresh for a new update that might have appeared since you opened the chart. We will skip break patient link, rejoin patient link, but essentially this can help to reconnect with uh, or disconnect from the imaging viewer. Um, review sign changes allows you to have multiple things, notes, orders, et cetera, that you sign all at once. Currently we have none, we'll say okay. Those are the major uses of the file menu. Edit may vary depending which tab we're on as well as well view. Chart tab, this allows us to select any of the tabs at the bottom of the screen, which is generally easier to do just by selecting the tabs. And then we can also view specific information about the patient. Tools, as previously mentioned, we have our imaging viewer systems. Um, CPRS Booster is a keyboard shortcut application that allows you to simplify CPRS use via keyboard shortcuts. EDIS is the emergency room display board. Handoff is the handoff tool that allows us to create and maintain a patient list with pertinent information. IMED consent is the mechanism for performing electronic consents in CPRS. Up to date is a helpful reference. Visual DX, another helpful reference uh, specifically for skin conditions. Web links in our system, we have a number of different web links. And I would just point out um, the infectious disease resources in particular, which list out our hospital antibiogram and have other helpful information about this hospital, specifically the DCVA. There are other things here which largely we won't use and tools options is basically the preferences for CPRS, which we will discuss in a separate video. Finally, help, largely not that useful, unfortunately, um, but there is a help if you find you may have interest in reviewing the help section.